Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. I can't wait for this video. This is a very special laptop here. This is the Lenovo Yoga Book 9i. Thanks to Lenovo for sending it over. And what makes it so special, it is a dual OLED screen laptop. So you flip the laptop open, there's a screen where you expect it to be, but then below it, instead of a keyboard, there is just another full display as well. And you might be asking, hey, how am I gonna type then? Well, there's multiple ways we'll show later on in the video. It even comes with a folding keyboard attachment as well. In this video, we'll take a quick look what comes in the box of the Yoga Book 9i, and then of course, get some hands-on with this really cool looking laptop. Test out the different ways you can use something like this. So let's get started. Here's the Lenovo Yoga Book 9i. Quick picture of what to expect. This is just a little sleeve that we are going to slide off. And let's see what we get inside the box. Opening it up, looks like on the right side, we have some accessories. First up, we do have a 65 watt charging brick, which is USB type C. This cable is connected, it does not detach. We are going to set the actual laptop to the side, continuing through. I almost missed it, but if you look closely, this will act as a sort of stand option. It does have magnets, so when you clasp it, You'll see you can have it set down and have it angled. More on this in a little bit. Really nice that it does include a stylus, especially having two screens going up and down, back and forth. We'll test this out a little bit later on. There are a couple buttons on the stylus. You also have this really nice color and textured sort of case and stand that does fold in certain ways, has magnets to help prop up your laptop and more. Again, we'll show off all the functionality in just a second. And the last accessory in the box is the physical keyboard. So here it is. Yes, you can still type on a standard classic keyboard. It's extremely thin. I also, again, like the color. Uh, there's grips on the bottom and top of the back so that it's not going to slide around. And here it is just to sort of match that color. And what do you know? It looks about the same size, right? Okay, more on that in just a little bit. Let's get to the laptop. And here's the big reveal. I haven't seen one of these in person yet. I'm really excited. I'm also surprised at how light it is. It's fairly thin as well, but here it is. Wow, okay, so just the outside, of course. Let's open it up for the first time. Actually opening it up for the first time, as always in my laptop videos, I like to do a one-handed test. Okay, so a little bit of a challenge to open it with one hand, as you can tell, but there it is. Look at that. Just two screens, this is kind of crazy. I can't wait to check this out. By the way, this hinge goes all the way back, 360 degrees. Feels very premium opening it up for the first time. Anyways, we are going to power on this laptop and while it boots up, we're gonna take a closer look at this very premium looking hardware. So on the left side, you've got one of your USB type C ports, a status indicator like for charging, continuing through towards the front. There's a little bit of a notch here so you can grab on when you open it. And then along the right side is where you start to see some buttons. So you have your power button right there. There's also a switch, which is a, I believe a privacy switch for your webcam. Love to see that continuing through two more. USB type C port. So full USB C laptop, flipping it over on the back. A quick look at the design and texture of that hinge. There's a little bit of texture to it, some ventilation right here. On the bottom, all four corners do have some grips to help it not slide around and up towards the top, Lenovo branding and yoga as well. So just very clean looking. I really do like this color. All right, the laptop's all booted up, already showing off using two screens at once. I'm gonna run through the setup process and talk about anything that's noteworthy. This webcam does have Windows Hello integration, so let's set up the face unlock. And there we go, make sure our face is in the center looking at the camera. Uh, you know, I've got the camera in my camera in the way, so it might not be perfect, but there we go, we're all set. We'll test that out a little bit later on in the video. So we are all set up, ready to go with Windows 11. Down at the bottom it says tap the lower screen with eight fingers to call up the virtual keyboard. And you'll notice it's up towards the top, similar to what a keyboard would be like on a regular laptop. Obviously it's all just a touch screen, but really, I, I love this. This is used as a trackpad though. So check it out, you can just use it like a normal laptop and there's a, a vibration motor, very subtle 
to give you the feeling of, you know, a similar laptop touchpad down at the bottom. I do like it a lot. And if I start typing, again, very similar. It has just a tight vibration feedback typing on this keyboard. And while we're on the subject, let's grab our keyboard case. You'll also notice you can carry the stylus very conveniently. So taking it out of this case, which also acts as a stand, I'll show that off in just a second, but let's grab our keyboard on the right side. It does have a USB-C port for charging of it, but also just an on off switch. So turning that on, one thing to make note of, that bottom, those bottom grips aren't just for the desk. It's also to protect the display when you snap it on like so. And it even says new keyboard found. There we go. Let's tap, can, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm missing it. There we go. Connect right there. And this will be used as just a regular keyboard. You can have your trackpad down here. It auto detects that the keyboard connected. It's even pretty magnetic. You'll notice that sensor is almost instant. I love it. Let's see what happens if I set it down at the bottom. Okay, so it brings up two uh, options here. Log into your Outlook for calendar information and just other information right here. So this is also an option where you can use a touch screen or just type at the keyboard down at the bottom and it knows what you're doing. There we go. Moving it on up towards the top, goes back into the trackpad mode. So it's swapping as you're shifting it. And no, don't close this with the keyboard right there. That's not something you want to do. It's not made for that. Sorry. There's just a few ways you can use the Yoga Book 9i. Let's grab our keyboard case and you'll see down here, this acts as a stand. So you can magnetically clasp the back like so. Set our stand down. Let's take this keyboard off and you'll see the two screens. And what you can do is set it right down into the stand and it is more than strong enough to support it. You can change obviously the hinge to how you like it. Sorry, that's going off the camera. This is just a quick hands-on. We'll do some more testing in just a little bit, but also we can snap in magnetically that keyboard into the bottom there. So it is paired up, ready to go. So we have a keyboard, a physical keyboard and two screens like so that you can adjust to your liking. I love this. This is just so cool how versatile that this laptop is. And speaking of those displays, these are two 13.3 inch, 2.8K resolution OLED screens, both obviously with touch screens at 16 to 10 aspect ratio. Quickly, let's test out that face unlock. So pressing the power button and there we go. So that was really snappy. Uh, that was from sleep. Uh, so I love to see that. I've got my pen all synced up, ready to go as well. You also can use these screens vertically. The stand holds up just fine. You can just pick it up, quick swap it either way, and it will auto rotate for you. And with this great hardware, Lenovo needed to add software that works in different ways because there's so many different ways to use this laptop with, without the keyboard, keyboard on top. And if you go into the YogaBook 9 user center, there's a lot of different ways. So uh, just dual screen interaction, letting you know how you can use it, virtual keyboard, entertainment, gaming up and down, collaboration, uh, studying vertically. Anyways, going into features and dual screen settings is where you're going to be able to really customize what you need. So first things first, window management. If I have this app up here and I start to drag it, you'll notice this icon right here. If I go over that icon, it's going to bring me a selection to pop it down to the bottom screen, but in different windows. It'll give you a quick preview of what it's going to look like if I pop it on down. So if I do this, there we go, snaps on over. Uh, and if I move it again, if I wanna go back up, Boom, right back up. So there's a way to quick swap apps between the top, bottom, left and right, depending on the orientation. And if you go into windowed management, there's a group of different options to customize how you want to be able to drag and drop windows, swap screens, uh, dual screen brightness. You can customize the brightness. It, it's on automatic right now, but you can have a specific brightness over the top screen and the bottom screen if you'd like. Dual screen wallpaper, which will adjust the device orientation and angle. So that's cool, they give you wallpaper options. There's also options for the virtual keyboard and virtual touchpad, such as tap with three fingers. Oh, what do you know? A virtual touchpad is opened up so my mouse can go. I'm gonna have to make that a little bit bigger 
or make it a little more sensitive if I want to use it of this size. Also, with the keyboard displayed on the lower screen, have widgets above the keyboard. Uh, when you're using a Bluetooth keyboard, using a virtual keyboard um, with agenda and news, that's kind of nice. You saw that a little bit earlier in the video. And this is a two-in-one. You can use it like a tablet. You can use it in tent mode, or you can just have a bottom and a top screen if you'd like to. So let's say you want to watch a YouTube video and work on a PowerPoint down below. That's completely an option for you. Let's hit play on this PowerPoint and you'll see, oh, there we go. So this is the tent mode. So once I hit play on the PowerPoint, I forgot to mention that it was going to kind of take over this screen in tent mode. So what we can do now is watch what happens when I flip it on over. You'll see the PowerPoint still playing on this side, but on this side is the sort of the way you can control the PowerPoint. So maybe you're presenting to someone on the other side that's watching the what, you're, what you want them to see, but you have your notes over here. So you can sort of present to someone else while they're looking at the screen on the other side. So honestly, it's just really crazy how useful something like this is with the dual screen and the different ways you can use it. Sorry, so flipping it over, looks like it defaulted to this screen as the main display. And now I'm just using it like I would any other tablet. Let's quick swap back. Looks like all the apps jumped over to the screen. So this video that was running was still running in the background, um, but you can quick swap between your different apps. You'll see it shows all three of these options. Let's go back into the slideshow. Let's, you know, close out of the app. Obviously, maybe the one downside of this, using it as a tablet, is you might get some fingerprints on this side. So you might want to carry maybe a microfiber cloth with you or something like that, just in case you're using it in tablet mode. And obviously, when you're typing and such, you're going to get some fingerprints. It actually doesn't seem very apparent that there's a lot of fingerprints on there, which is good to see. You obviously don't want fingerprints all over all the time, but it doesn't seem like they're collecting very many. And by the way, with this touchpad, if you press this arrow right here, it gets rid of it right here. So you can use any part of it as the mouse. So you'll see I'll press X and just quick tap and it closes out of that specific application. Minimize anywhere left or right hand side. Whereas if you have this gray area, that's the only area you can do anything. So those are all the different modes that you can use it. Again, putting the keyboard on opens those widgets that you can control, customize my schedule, and just some quick shortcuts over there. Popping this up towards the top will open that touchpad. Again, you can use the entire thing or just a specific space. For the sake of the video, I used one of the USB-C connectors to connect my Xbox controller, which will connect via Bluetooth. Don't worry, this laptop does have Bluetooth. I will in the future use this wirelessly, but Let's play some games. I'm gonna do a little cloud gaming uh, with the Xbox app. All right, and here we go. You'll see up at the top doing some gaming. This is Forza. And down at the bottom, I could be reading an article, something I need to do. Uh, if I switch on over, by the way, as expected, it switches apps. So you sort of lose that connectivity towards that top app. If you're using cloud gaming, it's going to be specific to the type of game that you're using. But obviously, if you wanted to have a video up down towards the bottom, maybe you're watching a stream of the same game. You need a map open of this specific game if you need to you know, go to a specific location while you're gaming. But either way, this is so cool that you could just have duels. It's just like having two monitors at one time, but it's just built in to your computer. All right, sorry, just wanted to show that off. So here you go, down at the bottom, down at the top. Maybe you wanted to race someone in a video. This is just a video down at the bottom, just any random YouTube video you could be watching, you could be watching a show. So you can game, watch your shows at the same time. I'm sure I'm a much better driver, as you can see up at the top. <laughs> And don't forget, you get an included pen for just added productivity. You can control your apps, you can scroll, you can take notes. There's even with Windows, a quick shortcut button down at the bottom to op go to quick specific apps that you might use with your stylus or, you know, snipping tool. So if you wanna just go ahead and say, hey, I really like this part of this article, go into it. You have a group of different options where you can save, open file, you can share. So if I hit save, there we go, save it to my computer. But then also you can draw on it. So if I go to highlight, you can highlight specific parts of it and then hit save so you can share. You say, hey, check out this part of it, this underline, cross out this, whatever it is. Obviously, this is just a general example. And there are some pen settings here for right and quick shortcuts with the button. So if you single click the button, it will open up Microsoft Whiteboard, double click screen snipping. 
Uh, scrolling down, there's also visual effects, cursors, and a few other options. Lenovo, however, also has their own pen settings for the top button, bottom button. With hover click, you can have the barrel button or erase. Pen sensitivity, tilt sensitivity, so there's also a few options here. And in case you're looking for some quick specs, the Yogabook 9i has the latest 13th gen Intel processors. You can get up to one terabyte of storage, Intel Iris Xe graphics. You also get 16 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM. So this is the Lenovo Yogabook 9i. So many features, so many more things to dive into. That's all I'm gonna cover for now. I really hope you enjoyed the video. This was a ton of fun to make. A lot of multitasking options. Windows even helps out, you know, with their quick shortcut options. If you want to slide over, I think there's a setting to kind of flick it on over to the other screen that I didn't check. So you can just go ahead and say, hey, let's just go like this. Boom, swap it on over. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it and I'm going to be doing even more testing. So more to come, be sure to click that subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. And as always, thanks for watching.